Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Josephine and on this channel we talk about fragrances. Today's video is about luxury fragrances that are worth the money. I have been so guilty recently of purchasing so many luxury fragrances. My wallet is really suffering but I'm really happy with the purchases because they're so, so worth it. Now, one thing that I will say is always sample fragrances for a bit of time, especially when it comes to luxury perfumes, because yes, it's an investment. And today I have such a great list to share with you. So if you'd like to know more about these perfumes, then please keep on watching. So I thought that it would be fitting to begin this video with a recent purchase of mine. I mean, I've had my eye on this fragrance for a while, but I only purchased it, I would say, two weeks ago. It is Rouge Malachite by Giorgio Armani. This is part of the private collection of Armani, so it's considerably more expensive. But this fragrance actually I got on sale and it turns out that this isn't the original packaging of Rouge Malachite. Normally it has a, a red cap and red label, but this was a limited edition. It smells exactly the same. I think that it looks much better than the original packaging and it was on sale. So I, I mean, it was fate. I had to purchase it. Anyways, Rouge Malachite. What does this fragrance smell like? This is a gorgeous, gorgeous, creamy floral. A few of you ladies have asked me if I could recommend some good creamy florals. This is one of them. This is just an incredible fragrance. So you have some jasmine, there's also tuberose and orange blossom. It's really intoxicating. And to be fair, the dry down is so much better than when you first spray the scent. In fact, I was a little bit disappointed when I sprayed it again after have not, having not smelt it for a bit of time. I was like, mm, it's not as good as I imagined it to be. But actually, the dry down is magical. So when you first spray it, if you're a fan of tuberose, you're gonna love this scent because the tuberose is very strong and I get a herbaceous, earthy, green type of feel that you get from tuberose and actually, Tuberose smells like this in its natural form, in, in, a, in an oil form, in perfumery. So you do get something that is very similar in here. It's blended with other white florals and it's super opulent. And the dry down, as I said, is just magical. It's very feminine, very sexy, extremely potent. This fragrance lasts on your skin as well a really long time. The sillage is beautiful. I've had a lot of comments from my fiance on this scent. He loves it too. So I can't recommend this fragrance enough. It is Rouge Malachite by Giorgio Armani. Next up, we have a fragrance I've raved about on this channel. It is Gentle Fluidity, the Silver Edition by Maison Francis Curtian. This is a masculine scent. I wouldn't personally wear it as a woman, although it says it's unisex. This is for sure more of a masculine perfume. I've described this scent in the past as being the next Dior Sauvage or the next Creed Aventus. It has such a likable DNA, totally different scent profile, but just very likable and super versatile as well. With this fragrance, you'll really get a bang for your buck in the sense that it's very versatile. You can wear it every day of the year in so many different situations. And also it will last super, super long on your skin. This is a perfume that lasts 12 hours, which is phenomenal. And generally speaking, Maison Francis Cure Jean does beautiful perfumes. They're very well blended, extremely high quality, and you can really tell when you spray this perfume, for example, like on your skin, on the back of your hand, or on your wrist, your wrist and hand area, wherever you sprayed it, is shiny. That is how concentrated the fragrance is. So yes, Gentle Fluidity, a little masterpiece. If you love fresh perfumes, I can't recommend this fragrance enough. Next up, we have a fragrance that is very appropriate for this time of year. It is a spicy and sweet perfume by Atelier des Ors. It is Lune Féline. This fragrance is simply stunning. It is a cardamom vanilla sponge cake. This is what it smells like. It's beautiful. It's one of the most beautiful spicy vanillas that I've tried. That's, that's what I would say about this fragrance. It's extremely luxurious. This is a very strong perfume again. Um, it's not <laughs> faint of hearted. And the cardamom in this scent is uh, very prominent, especially when you first spray it. So you need to like cardamom to appreciate the scent, 
but it mellows down after some time and wear on your skin to turn into something that is a really rich, spicy and woodsy vanilla. So this is a very sophisticated, spicy vanilla scent. The fourth fragrance is by Penhaligans. It is the tragedy of Lord George. And this is part of the Portraits collection. So the Portraits collection is a beautiful collection by Penhaligans. Their characteristic is a animal head as a cap on top of the fragrance and so each fragrance has a different animal head and each fragrance or animal has a different story and it's super cool it's like one big family of fragrances all living under one roof and there's like lots of like plots and twists and it's super fun so the storytelling is wonderful and so lord george first off looks beautiful and it is a very classy scent for a gentleman it is a soapy boozy perfume that's how I would describe the scent. It is extremely refined. It has that soapy character, that cleanliness. I get quite a lot of aromatics, almost as if it was a man that had just shaved and you smell those like aromatics type of notes. That's what I get from the scent, but you also have a little bit of sweetness and there's amber as well as tonka bean and definitely over time, that sweetness is gonna settle on the skin and create something absolutely Beautiful. So this fragrance literally makes me think of a man who's very well dressed, a gentleman, in one of the poshest places ever and he's having a drink of brandy. That is what this fragrance makes me think of. So if you like something that is clean but also has that boozy character and you want something that is extremely elegant and refined, check out The Tragedy of Lord George. Also in the Portraits collection, I have the feminine counterpart or the wife of <laughs> Tragedy of Lord George, which is The Revenge of Lady Blanche. So in the story, those two are married and you do get a very similar feel in the sense that these fragrances are very refined and they definitely tend to be more on the mature end. At least the tragedy of Lord George and the Revenge of Lady Blanche is how those fragrances are. So Revenge of Lady Blanche is a floral fragrance for women. There's hyacinth, there's iris, as well as narcissus. So it's a floral bouquet. To me, it's a floral green perfume that is powdery. It has a very distinct vintage feel about the scent. It feels very vintage. Um, and antique-like, which is very unusual, and it's certainly a scent that stands out in my collection. This is a fragrance I like to wear when I want to feel maybe a bit more ladylike. <laughs> That's what I would wear. And it's a fragrance that you can wear all throughout the year, similar to the tragedy of Lord George. These are fragrances that you can wear throughout the year, so not attached to a particular season. Next up, we have another personal favorite for men, it is Oud for Greatness by Nisso Parfum. You're probably really sick of me talking about this fragrance because I literally have included this perfume in probably every single video as of late. It is phenomenal. It is such a beautiful sweet Oud perfume that has a distinct masculine character. The Oud is very dry, it's smooth. It's not Oud where you'll get like an animalistic beast-like feel. It's super smooth and just very addictive. This is a very bold fragrance. It's extremely daring. It's not a perfume that you wanna wear on an everyday basis. This is the type of scent that you want to wear for special occasions, for a date maybe. And uh, yeah, it's, it's phenomenal. It has incredible projection, incredible longevity. The packaging is beautiful. The scent is stunning. So honestly, this perfume takes all the boxes. It's expensive. It was, I believe, 250 pounds, which is really, really expensive. But it, again, it's worth every single penny. And honestly, it is so strong, so you don't need that much of it. And so it will last a pretty long time in your collection, if you ask me. So that was Oud for Greatness by Initio Parfum Privé. All right, now back to a feminine perfume. We have La Libella by Memo. Memo is such a stunning niche house and are probably one of the kings of packaging. This is beautiful. I don't know if you can see the bottle here. This is a metal plate uh, and all the fragrances have a metal plate on them with different designs, so they're extremely unique and beautiful perfumes. La Libella is a gorgeous Chypre perfume for women. You have some rose in here, some coconuts, although you 
can't really detect the coconut, I would say, I mean, at least to my nose. You have some patchouli, there's tobacco, there's also some underlying sweetness with some vanilla. So it's a really beautiful perfume. This is an intoxicating scent that makes a statement that feels very womanly. I usually wear this fragrance when I'm going out, when I want to be a bit more put together. I feel very confident as well. This is for sure a confidence booster. So if you're looking for this type of fragrance that is extremely feminine, it's floral but it has a lot of depth and different layers to it, something that is very unique, definitely check out La Nibella by Memo. And the second fragrance by Memo that I have, a leather perfume, it is Ocean Leather, which is the latest release from the brand. So Ocean Leather is part of the Cuir Nomad collection, which is the leathery collection. Characteristic of Memo leather fragrances is that they're extremely refined, super well blended, and you're never going to get a leather that smells like a car seat, that intoxicating, almost sickly feel. You're never going to get that with Memo. It's super sophisticated and I just love it. So Ocean Leather is a mineral oceanic leather, as the name of the fragrance suggests. So this is a perfume that you can totally rock during the summertime. It certainly has more of a summer feel than say like an autumnal or winter feel. For sure more appropriate for the warmer months. And what I get from this scent is quite a lot of aromatics. You have some basil as well as sage. And there's also some citruses with a bit of juiciness and sweetness from mandarin. And the leather is more in a supporting role. I wouldn't say it's a pure leather per se, it's more of a suede-like leather. So like sort of like this like white leather feel that is very soft, but just gives a little bit of character to the scent. It's a really intriguing fragrance. I personally love it. I find that it stays beautifully on the skin. It projects moderately well as well. And if you are someone that is looking for a leather perfume, but you're worried to get something that is too strong, too opulent, check out Ocean Leather. It's more on the light side and just a stunning perfume. Another fragrance that is really great for this time of year, and I have mentioned it quite a bit on this channel, it is Santal Basmati by Affinescence. Affinescence is a French niche brand and they have, which is relatively new actually, and they have a few fragrances within their collection. I think in total they have six scents. This is a 100 ml bottle, but they recently released 50 ml, which is great because they're more affordable than the 100 ml. To be fair, this perfume took me, I can't remember how many years, maybe two years to purchase because it was so expensive. It's such an investment, but really, really worth it. This is Santal Basmati, is the one that I personally preferred from the entire collection. It is a sandalwood fragrance, but a sandalwood that smells like a vanilla rice pudding. It is incredible. You have this cooked rice note in this fragrance that is super unique. Honestly, there's not another fragrance like this on the market. There just isn't. For uniqueness, this is like a 10 out of 10. It's incredible. It's very cocooning. This fragrance is like a cashmere sweater and just incredible. If you are looking for a culinary, sweeter type of sandalwood scent for the autumn time, Santal Basmati is just phenomenal. I think they may also have a discovery set on their website. I will see if I can find it. If I do, I will link it in the info box down below. And finally, we have a classic. It is Baccarat Rouge 540 by Maison Francis Curgeon. This is a fragrance that yes, a lot of people wear. Yes, there are a lot of dupes, but none of the dupes can get to the level of Baccarat Rouge 540. That's just, that's just a fact, okay? Uh, and it's worth every penny, that's it. People can say it's not a unique scent. Well, guess what? It is a unique scent because there's so many clones now that you think that it's not unique anymore. When it was first launched, this fragrance was really revolutionary. And I still think that it is a very revolutionary scent today. So what's so special about this scent? Well, it's a sweet perfume that is very difficult to describe. It's dense, it's light, it smells like the sugar of candy apples, at least to me, to some people, it smells like a hospital. I don't know where they get that, but you know, everyone has a different experience with this fragrance, which I find makes it so magical. This fragrance is great if you are someone that enjoys 
some sweetness and you like your gourmand perfumes, it's a really great introduction into niche. This fragrance is a really high quality perfume. It's super concentrated in fragrance oils. It'll last on your skin like crazy. You'll get an insane sillage. Like people across the street will smell you if you wear the scent. It is so good. And uh, it's one that feels very luxurious as well. And one that is just great for all year round. So that was Baccarat Rouge 540 by Maison Francis Curjean and concludes my list for today. So I hope you enjoyed watching this video. Thank you so much for tuning in and I will see you in another video. Bye.